Hey guys, I'm Devin DeLima. So this week, I want to talk about Invisalign again, mostly because I've been getting a lot of questions involving some of the procedures that I go through with Invisalign, and I wanted to make sure that everyone had the information that they wanted. If you're new to my channel, you can find all my other Invisalign videos here, here, and here. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Now for this video, I wanted to talk about something that I've just very quickly gone over, which is the Acceladent. Essentially, it is a mouth guard made of plastic that you just put into your mouth, like so. And then you hit this button right here, and then it slowly like vibrates. Like, you, no, you can't see it vibrate or anything like that. And most of the time, no one can hear it unless they're really, really close to you. Um, and it just, it's meant to move the roots of your mouth and everything just a little bit quicker and make it a little bit more elastic throughout the rest of your mouth. And this has actually made my entire procedure be half the amount of time that it normally would have been. So my original treatment time with Invisalign was 16 months and you're supposed to keep it in your trays for two weeks. But with Accelident, I only keep my trays in for one week so it cuts everything in half. It's just 20 minutes a day. It's honestly kind of great. I think that it's uh, really soothing, especially when your teeth are still getting used to the movement. Um, it's, it, it's just like a massage for your teeth and it, it helps them move a lot quicker. Uh, I was able to close the gap between my two front teeth in five weeks instead of 10. So as far as I know from all the research that I've done, it's completely safe. Um, but it is expensive. I honestly do not have an exact number for you on how much I paid for this, only because it was included in the rest of my cost, but I do know that I did pay more for this. So as you can see here, this part actually comes off, and then this part also comes off as just a cap, and then this is a USB jump drive. It plugs in, you bring it in every time that you go into the orthodontist, they put it into their computer, and every time you use it, it starts to update itself uh, through an Excel spreadsheet, it seems to be, letting them know how many minutes a day you used it, things like that. Um, it's just a way for them to be able to track your progress and also make sure that you aren't moving too quickly through your trays because that can be very damaging to the roots and it, it, it's, it would be a really bad idea to do that. At the same time, you might wonder, oh, what if I get this and then I'm the type of person that might forget every once in a while? And to be honest, I've only forgotten once. And when I did that, uh, the situation was you do 20 minutes as soon as you remember, and then you do 20 minutes later at your normal time. But you never want to do like 40 minutes in a single sitting. Um, and then you can also break it up to be like four 10 minute increments, however you want. Um, it would have to be something that you would have to talk to your doctor about, but for me, it's only ever happened once. I've been surprisingly really good about using this guy, I think because it is making this process so much quicker for me that I just, I don't want to forget about it. The cleaning process is also super easy. All you do is take this off, or you could actually just kind of leave it on if you're careful, um, and you just run cold water on this. Obviously it's made out of plastic. You don't want super hot water. It will melt. Um, for mine, I'm starting to get teeth marks into it uh, just from consistent use. It's definitely worth it. If, if you're someone that just wants to get this process done and over with, just I, I would highly recommend it. As far as I know, you would keep it too through your refinement stage. Um, so if you don't know, once you're done with your Invisalign, your original treatment, what they do then is they look at what teeth didn't move or they did move in a certain way, or it, if there's anything that you want to change in your mouth still at the end of your treatment, which happens to, I think, almost everyone who does Invisalign. Um, I believe that you can use this and it'll still excel that process as well. But it is something that you lease from them and then you're expected to return. Um, and obviously if you lose it, something like that, it's gonna be a hefty penalty. So don't lose it, don't be irresponsible. And if you know that you're the type of person that loses things consistently, or someone who's just, you know that it, it's just, 
it's going to cost you more money than it's worth in the end, then I wouldn't recommend doing it. But for me, I know exactly where it is at all times. And I'm very, very anal about making sure that I have it and that I'm doing it every night. Um, that being said, most of it is kind of up to your own discretion. There's been some research done and as far as I can tell, it's completely safe. Some people say that it could be bad for your roots because it's moving it too quickly. It can be bad for this, it could be bad for that. I guess I'm going to be a guinea pig of this and let you know. Um, from what I can tell, it's actually helped things not hurt. I can't speak for the long term, obviously but I don't think anyone can because it is a newer technology. So as far as I know, everything seems to be fine. They check my roots. They check uh, with x-rays with me uh, pretty consistently to make sure that nothing's going cracking in the roots. Nothing's being like just the tooth isn't just like going sideways to where it needs to go and the root didn't move. Um, so as far as I know, everything seems to be okay. But if anything bad happens, I'll let you guys know if it was worth the money or not, because then clearly it wouldn't be. Also, just to give a last quick little update on my Invisalign, I am still doing uh, the trays. I believe I'm on tray 19 of 30, which is awesome. Uh, I only have 30 trays, but I do know that there's going to be refinements. Uh, the only reason I know that now is because I have a tooth that's like up here um, that was originally almost to like the center of my mouth. Um, and now it is, it, it, it started to move, but I know that it was really hard for them to get a 3D scan of it before, um, for the trays initially. So for whatever reason, the trays didn't really go around the tooth, but there was enough to move it a little bit, but now it has lost its grip on the tooth at all. So that tooth is just remaining stagnant. So every other tooth around it it's moving as far as i can tell so there's just going to be this one tooth that's going to be out of line it's unfortunate i was really really bummed when i first kind of figured it out and i kind of thought you know okay if it took five to six weeks for my two front teeth to come together and this one's like halfway there i'm gonna guess it's like five to six more weeks that i'm gonna have to be within the line but in the grand scheme of things, it's so worth it. It's, you know, it's going to be fine. I was really, really bummed because everyone was saying to me at the doctor's office how I was so like on point with my Invisalign that I was matching from their 3D like scan of what they thought my teeth would look like week to week to what was happening in my mouth was like a perfect match and they were really impressed and they were like wow you were a perfect candidate for Invisalign and you're doing your stuff really well and everything's going really great and congratulations and they basically kind of alluded to you know if it keeps going like this you're probably not gonna have a refinement period because at the end you're there's gonna be nothing to fix because it'll be exactly like how we imagined it um, but unfortunately that's not the case and again it's just it is what it is I'll give you guys updates on that as I know them um, I'm hoping that it won't be a super long refinement period. I know that some people have longer refinement periods than their initial treatment. I can't speak to that. I can't speak to most of it, but I will as soon as I can. Hope you guys liked this video, and if you didn't, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. I put out new videos every single Saturday. If you guys have any questions at all about Invisalign, comment down below. I will do a Q&A video eventually. Uh, I, before, I was really trying to stay on top of things and making sure that I was answering all the questions that were coming in or responding to them. But my last video hit uh, 10,000 views for Invisalign, which, you know, thank you so much for that. That, oh, that was awesome. And, um, you know, I really appreciate that. But there was a lot of redundant questions and I just wanna make sure that I, if someone else has a question, they're not gonna have to like, cipher through all the other questions and stuff like that so if you guys have any specific questions about invisalign the treatment cost anything i'm going to be completely open and honest with you comment down below and i will create a q a video for you guys as soon as i can until then i love you guys so much and i'll see you next week for another brand new video later